In this video, we'll discuss the Trumner sign for diagnosing degenerative cervical myelopathy. Download the free PhysioTutors app now and become the best clinician you can be. The Trumner sign is a test from the clinical neurological examination. By performing this test, the purpose is to detect upper motor neuron lesions above the level of C5, C6. In the systematic review by Jiang et al. in the year 2023, the pooled results showed a sensitivity of 94 and a pooled specificity of 93%. To conduct the test, the patient is in a sitting position. The examiner stabilizes the patient's middle finger by holding it just proximal to the distal interphalangeal joint in a flexed position. The examiner taps or flicks the volar surface of the distal middle finger. A positive finding is the occurrence of hyperreflexia of the index finger or thumb. This test excites a monosynaptic stretch reflex. Normally this reflex is inhibited by supraspinal descending inhibition, but changes in the spinal cord and lesions of the corticospinal tract may elicit this pathological response. The Trumner sign is a useful test to rule out degenerative cervical myelopathy and for the early detection of the condition. It is different from the Hoffman sign, where the Hoffman sign flicks the distal phalanx of the middle finger, the Trumner sign taps the volar aspect of the distal phalanx of the middle finger. The systematic review and meta-analysis by Jiang et al. in 2023 concluded that the Trumner sign demonstrated superior diagnostic accuracy compared to the Hoffman sign. Therefore, this test is recommended to use for both ruling in and out degenerative cervical myelopathy. All right, this was it for this video. You can find more tests in our PhysioTutors app and you can watch more content on our website, on YouTube or on the app itself. I hope you learned something today and enjoyed this video. I'll see you in another one.